What's going on, everybody? Welcome to part two of our tricycle build. And guys, before I start this part, just be sure to leave a comment down below on what I should build next. Uh, I'm curious to see what you guys have in mind. So if you guys recall, where we left off was uh, basically we had the engine mounted, we had the jack shaft set up, the rear sprocket. We did a lot in the first part. So hopefully in this part, we get this thing on the road. So first things first, I grew less and less uh, fond of this part right here. So we're gonna go away with that. I need that thing again. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually invert it like this so that it actually kind of goes into the frame and it just flows a lot better and makes it look a lot nicer. To reconfigure the frame, I used the same tube that I had originally. I just have to cut it and re-angle it so that it fits properly. Once I had the tubing recut, I used this gas pipe right angle to make that bend to the down tube a lot easier. Next, I simply just weld it on. After that was all figured out, it was time to work on the exhaust. First thing I have to do is cut off this tab and make a new one on the bottom. Luckily the rear end of this trike is steel so I can weld straight to it. Unfortunately the exhaust is going to get in the way of the basket, but we'll figure that out later. Next it is time to mount the CDI and the coil. This was pretty straightforward, I just made a few tabs, bent them up, and then welded them to the frame. As you can tell, the CDI has a little sleeve that slides over our tab. Next, it was time to mount the gas tank. I had the stainless steel cylinder gas tank that I used for other projects, and we're going to use it for this one too. Unfortunately, I have to raise the gas tank higher in the frame so that the gas properly pours into the carburetor. So I bend up some tube, cut it to length, and then position it on the frame. Next, I weld on this bracket so that we can mount the tank. So the gas tank is officially mounted on the frame. I think it looks pretty sweet. We're kind of going a little wild on the uh, tubing here on the frame, but uh, I think it'll look good once it's all painted up. Okay, so next we're going to be working on the brakes, and I'm going to experiment here. I have this old saw blade, and I think I'm going to try to make a disc brake out of it. To mount the saw blade disc brake onto the trike, I have to use this sprocket so that I can fit it onto the jack shaft. I then design it in CAD, and then we cut it out. As you can see, it turned out really well. I just need to weld on the sprocket and then mount it to the bike. Or not. Unfortunately, the welding process heated it up too much and now it's all warped. So we cut out a new one, but this time I'm gonna use a hub so that I don't have to weld anything on. Once the disc brake is mounted to the hub, I put it on the jack shaft, and then I line up the caliper, cut out a bracket, and then weld the bracket straight to the frame. As I showed you, the saw blade, it was a good idea, but I didn't execute properly, and I decided to weld the sprocket onto the disc, and sure enough, it warped like a, it looks like a, looks like a cowboy hat, to be honest, it's pretty bad. It could have worked if I decided to make it so it bolted on, and that's what I did with the uh, disc brake 2.0 right here. 
And as you see, we also got the actual caliper mounted on there. So all we need to do is run on, run the cable and it should be uh, ready to go. So pretty much we have one more major thing to do before this build is pretty much in the bag. And that is to find somewhere to put your feet. And what I'm gonna do is use the old pedals and then I have the shaft that went through. So it should look like that. Um, it should be pretty easy to set up. I don't know. First things first, I cut this shaft in half so that I can use it for both pedals. Then position it on the frame and then weld it on. I also do the same for the other side. The pedals are still prone to rotate, so I have to bolt them to the engine so that they don't move. I fab up a couple simple brackets and then bolt them on. Hopefully that holds up and does the trick. Anyway, last thing I do is I take everything off the trike, weld everything up, paint it, and now finally, I think it's ready for a test drive. So unfortunately, I was having some carburetor issues. As soon as you give it throttle, it would die on me. So I had to drive all the way home, get my carburetor cleaner, and luckily that did the trick. To be completely honest, this thing is scary. It kind of feels like you're holding onto a washing machine while driving down the road. <laughs> I really wonder what this guy was thinking when I passed him in a tricycle going 35 miles an hour. The top speed that I hit was about 42 miles an hour, plus or minus probably 3 miles an hour because of the GPS. But like I said, this thing is pretty scary to drive at high speeds. I could probably have gone faster, but I really didn't want to. I would say it probably needs a little bit of a gearing change. I think that rear sprocket needs to be a little bit bigger, but otherwise I was pretty happy with the results. When you dump the clutch, you can definitely spin out, which is pretty cool too. I would say it needs a wider wheelbase and probably a differential as well. Otherwise, I was really happy with the results and it was a lot of fun to drive. Well guys, that's it. If you guys ever venture into Oregon, selling this thing for 500 bucks, hit me up. Thanks, bye.